Welcome to Huskies at Home, our weekly digital series featuring UConn head coaches on how they're handling these uncertain times. New episodes Saturdays at 10 a.m. exclusively on SNY.TV. And this time we're pleased to be joined by UConn head football coach Randy Edsel. Randy, thanks so much for being with us. And the first thing I want to ask is just how are you and how are your players and staff doing? Um, I'm doing great. Uh, I was, I was, I guess you might want to call a little bit fortunate. We were going on spring break and I was heading down here to uh, Florida uh, for spring break to my, the house that I have down here. So I've been down here since March 13th and, uh, you know, enjoying the weather and, uh, you know, just doing everything remotely from here. And, you know, with the technology that we have nowadays, it's very easy to be able to get done the things that you need to get done. You know, we, um, I get WebEx with our players uh, about every week, every other week, uh, text message them every morning to remind them of what, uh, what they need to do. And, uh, you know, the same thing with our coaches. We get on WebEx and conduct our meetings. Uh, just had a um, two hour recruiting meeting uh, earlier this week. And um, so really for us, it's, it's, it's really been business as usual so to speak. I think for us, the, the biggest challenge is, is that, you know, I'm the academic liaison for our uh, football staff. And so that just that daily interaction that you have, seeing them in person, you know, on campus to remind them or for those kids to, uh, you know, get the help that they need from a resource standpoint, you know, face to face. Yeah, they can do it on WebEx, on Zoom, those sort of things. But it's, you know, that's just a little bit different than you know, having that one-on-one -on -one interaction and everything else. But um, really, it, it hasn't been, uh, at least for, for me, in terms of what we want to try to get done. We're still able to get everything done that we wanted to get done, even if we were in stores. Well, that's good news. And recruiting, obviously, a huge part of what you're doing. Have you found that that lack of face-to-face -face is really affecting that aspect? That, that's probably the biggest aspect of uh, that's, you know, a hindrance, so to speak, because at this point in time for us, this would be an evaluation period for myself, not for me, but I can't go on the road, but the coaches, they would be out in the high schools evaluating uh, kids and talking to coaches, couldn't talk to the PSAs, but uh, they can talk to the coaches and watch them in a spring sport. You can't do that. But the thing is, it's allowed us the time to really study the film on these young men um, and look a lot more game film on them. And then again, we're able to FaceTime with them. Uh, we're able to, to call them and all those sort of things. The, the, biggest, the biggest issue that I think we have from a recruiting standpoint is we're just not gonna be able to, uh, doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get young men up on campus for official visits because May is now a, um, a dead period. You know, I'm pretty sure that June will probably be a dead period. And that was a time when we could bring people in for official visits. And, uh, you know, that's gonna be something that's gonna be a hindrance. And then, you know, trying to get kids to commit without being on campus, you know, is gonna be, is, is gonna be a challenge, but, you know, there's things we can do from a video standpoint so they can see our facilities. As far as the upcoming season, there's a lot unknown, but what are the conversations you've been having, not only with your camp, but your AD and the NCAA about potential scenarios? Well, I, I'm not one of those guys that's going to get all hung up and all caught up in all those sort of things because, you know, I have already planned out our schedule in terms of when we would report, you know, how we were going to practice and, and doing those sort of things where we were going to, you know, report in August. And, you know, so we're going by that mindset that we're just going to prepare that we're gonna be ready for August. And then as soon as the powers to be, you know, tell us when we're gonna play, where we're gonna play, uh, all those things, then, you know, we'll deal with it. I think the biggest thing is what is the best thing for the health and safety, you know, of these young men. And I think one of the biggest concerns out there is if universities aren't gonna have students back on campus, I think it's gonna be very, very difficult for us to then be able to play games because I don't know how you ask kids to go and play the games when you're not even having your students, you know, back on the campus. So 
But you know what? As I told our co- as I told our coaches, and as I told our players, you know, just keep doing what we can control, which is for them to finish up academically, for them to do the required things that they're supposed to do from a weight room and conditioning standpoint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to already start preparing and breaking down, you know, our first three opponents. So that's all we can do. And so then whenever we're set to kick off, you know, we're going to be prepared and we're going to be ready. Well, as much as you are getting accomplished, it must be a little bit different just motivating your players without being around them. Uh, You mentioned some workouts and things that they've been doing. What other sorts of things have you suggested to them just to stay on track? Well, you know, I've tried to, uh, you know, when I, when I text them, you know, each morning, I'll put a little motivational uh, saying in there for them. But also I said, you know, you guys challenge each other, uh, challenge, your, you know, get on, get on with your teammate and say, hey, this is what I'm going to do today. What did you do today? You know, and, and challenge each other. That's kind of the challenge. You know, it's a personal challenge, but it's also a challenge for them against their teammates. So to say, hey, I'll be in better shape than you. I'm going to be a bit stronger than you when we get back together. And, you know, and that's the kind of thing that you want to, that you're trying to do to keep them, to keep them motivated. Looking ahead to next year, playing as an independent, uh, the competition that you have on your schedule, can you somewhat give us an idea of that and where your roster might stack up? Well, you know, I think the one thing is it's, uh, you know, we do have a challenging schedule. You know, it was uh, it was one of those that you didn't have, you know, a lot of choices in terms of um, how you wanted to put it together just because of the the um, the timing of, um, you know, what we were going to be doing. It's a challenging schedule, one that we're looking forward to. And, you know, I think the one thing is and, you know, we got another 15 guys that are going to be coming in uh, here in the summer uh, and then some wa- uh, tw- walk ons. We got about 21 guys that are going to be coming in, you know, to add to what we already have. So, you know, again, I I think the biggest thing is it's just like anything else. You know, if we can, if we can stay healthy and, and guys can play up to the potential that they have, you know, we're going to be in a, we're going to be competitive and we're going to be able to go out and, and win some games. And, you know, that's the thing that we want to do. Coach, when you do get back on the field, can you pinpoint just what you'll be looking forward to most? Well, you know, my biggest thing is I'm just looking forward to us getting back together as a a team, you know, and I think that's the thing that you really miss. You really miss that camaraderie, you know, that uh, brotherhood, you know, that you have, you know, getting on each other in a good manner, you know, and, and all that and guys competing, you know, that that's the thing that I'm looking forward to, because again, I really liked what I saw from this group in the spring. You know, they, they worked extremely hard. There were guys that were stepping, stepping up and being vocal and taking more of a leadership role than, than before. And um, so I'm really looking forward for them to get back and kind of keep building on what we were doing, you know, since January. UConn head football coach Randy Edsel, we're so glad you're doing well and that you could join us. It's been a pleasure. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. And that's all for us this week on Huskies at Home. Be sure to tune in next week when our guest will be UConn Athletic Director David Benedict. Take care.